But here at home, Kentucky's new Republican Attorney General is now asking the FBI to investigate pardons given by the former Republican Governor Matt Bevin. After calling on Cameron last month to pursue this investigation, Jesse Cohen tells us how top Kentucky lawmakers are reacting today. It's all new on the night team. The call for investigation has been answered. Kentucky's new Republican Attorney General Daniel Cameron has sent a formal request to the FBI to look into some of former Governor Matt Bevin's pardons. We want to make sure that the governor didn't abuse his power in issuing these pardons. In a letter sent on December 30th, Cameron told Kentucky Democratic Senate Minority Leader Morgan McGarvey and Democratic Representative Chris Harris he was granting their request. From the very beginning, we stressed this is not political. We we asked the attorney general to investigate using a special prosecutor team of a Democrat and a Republican prosecutor. McGarvey says this is crucial to make sure the people trust their government and have trust in the process. We've got to actually have an investigation to make sure that there's nothing more there. Murderers, a child rapist, and a man who beheaded a woman are among some of those pardons. These pardons don't look Good. One of the most prominent pardons being brought into the discussion is a 2014 deadly home invasion case. The man pardoned has family who donated thousands to the Bevan campaign, making many question if there was a quid pro quo. Why were they issued to people who donated to the campaign? but they weren't issued to people involved in the same crimes who didn't donate to the campaign. On Monday, Cameron told the media about his decision to ask for an investigation. Well, we referred that matter to uh, to the FBI. It's just a few weeks after Bevan acknowledged the pardons and commutations being issued. And not one of these people is a threat to anybody. Most of what you hear people talking about, this guy who'd, con who'd been convicted of murder or what have you, these people have been out for years. But McGarvey says it's hard to swallow the almost 500 second chances being given. Look at these pardons, the sheer volume of them uh, with no notice to the victims in many cases. It's one of those instances where people from both parties are saying, what was going on here? Now, Matt Bevin has not commented today on the new development, but on December 19th, he responded to Terry Miners in regards to those heinous crimes, saying that these people who have been accused and convicted of that, but he thought that if these people have not done it, he wouldn't have let them out. For the 19th, I'm Jesse Cohen.